I was class of 2001 at VMI, the first class of women uh, to enter the institute in 1997. Um, I decided during high school that I really wanted a challenge in college and I was set on going to a service academy. Um, but I got this letter from VMI and so my mother and I took a, uh, a trip and I just knew right away that that was the school that I was supposed to, uh, to attend college. When we got there, it was a bigger deal than I had Military expected. <laughs> 31 women make up the first class. If you don't know by now, the women will be arriving. For the first time in 158 years. Ending a century and a half of all male tradition. There were news bands and, uh, and pretty much everybody wanted to understand why this group of 30 women wanted to go to an all male institution. It's about the challenge, it's about the discipline, and it's truly about the honor and the integrity of the Institute. Being a woman at VMI was incredibly difficult. Um, you know, there was, there was negative verbiage used towards us, but I just had this sense of understanding that there was nothing that was gonna move me from being successful at VMI, and there was nothing that was gonna move me from graduating VMI. Um, so it started to become this thing where it just rolled off my back. Um, and, and now I have an uncanny ability <laughs> to let things go. <laughs> While I was at school, my mother um, actually passed away uh, at the end of my rat year. But what I found was that I had grown an incredibly new family with my peers at VMI and with my friends at VMI. They became my family, they became my brother rats. And that was truly the day that it happened for me. It didn't happen at breakout. It happened at that moment when I needed people the most. I really wanted to use my mechanical engineering degree. And I got this invitation to the Atlanta chapter uh, alumni uh, get together. And I walked up to the table and I said, my name is Kelly Sullivan, class of 01. And they just kind of stared at me. And, um, and I said, no, I'm, a, you know, I'm, a, I'm an alum. <laughs> I thought for sure that the alumni um, would, would not be positive about me being there, but it was completely opposite. And they embraced me. Um, and they asked me to come up and, and say a few words. And so I went up and I told them who I was. I told them about my story at VMI. Um, and at the end, I just threw in that, uh, that I had a uh, you know, mechanical engineering degree and I was looking for a job. <laughs> I had so many people come up and say, I'll hire you tomorrow. And by the end of the day, I had 60 emails in my inbox offering me a job without even looking uh, at my resume. And I actually went to work for a VMI alum, uh, Mike Maxwell. I started with Mike Maxwell at Potomac Electric Power Company. Um, I was there for about three years um, when uh, Max came to me and said, hey Kelly, I need a person to manage a special project. Uh, and it was a $70 million project, uh, and it was project management, something I'd never done before. Um, but he had faith in me. So it was a, it was a walking a tightrope between understanding that I didn't have all of the skill set to be able to be successful, but that I had to depend on my team in order for them to give me what I needed to be successful. So. Um, it was very much like VMI. You have to depend on the person next to you. It's important to understand your historical background. It's important to know where VMI has been and, and hopefully where it will go. It's so interesting to see how that bond is still so intact. But everyone is doing so well. They're so established. They're so... Um, Gosh, they're all so smart and so generous and so gritty and strong. They're just these, these really badass women.